Hi, welcome to my channel and welcome to this total top 10 crystal oracle decks. This has been a long time in coming. I know everybody loves crystals and loves working with crystals. And I have so many crystal oracle cards. I keep saying I'm going to be doing this video. And finally, I have time to do it. So I picked my top 10 oracle decks with crystals that I actually work with and I get great readings and just like ordinary crystals you know no oracle deck is the same even if it's a crystal oracle deck um, each one I use for different purposes and I get great readings so I definitely wanted to show these um, also uh, below I'm gonna put a list in the order that I show the cards so that if you like a deck you'll immediately know which one it is and I'm only going to be showing a couple of cards from each deck so you can get a taste and a flavor of the deck. And if you want to see every single card, you can always go to my close-up reviews on my channel where I show every card of every deck. And within the close-up reviews, I also give a bonus reading so you get a sample of what working with the deck is like. So I wanted to dive in. This is my Selenite Heart Crystal, which is always with me. Anyway, so I surrounded us with crystals. I'm gonna start with the first one. And again, in the description box below, I'll put what the deck is and who it's by in the order that I show it. So you can always fast forward, go behind, but get comfortable and let me show you my top 10 Oracle decks with crystals. So, and also this is in no particular order whatsoever. Um, I just made a list and I'm showing it in order of the list and I'm going to cut, cut and paste to my, uh, down in the description box. So I'll start off with Lavish Earth. I absolutely love this deck. It's a crystal affirmation deck, but I get great readings. And actually, it's the one deck here. I haven't done a close-up review yet, which I'm going to post immediately following this. I'll show every card and I'll do a bonus reading, which I did an amazing reading this morning, which I'll show you those cards that we got. But anyway, this is from Amy Wood, uh, hold on, before I even tell you, I think it's Woodson, Amy Woodson, and I ended up getting it on um, her Etsy store, actually. So you can just plug in Google, um, you know, Google uh, Lavish Earth and it will come up. And I'm pretty sure it's Amy Woodson, even though I can't find the packaging here. Yep, Amy Woodson, here we go. Amy Woodson, the owner of Lavish Earth. Um, really, really lovely. You can go to www.thislavisheearth.com. You can also go to her Etsy store, which is where I got the cards. So I love this uh, deck. It's called Lavish Earth Crystal Affirmation Card Deck. But what I love about it, first, let me show you the backs of the cards. So it says Lavish Earth. It will have a couple of cards that um, say about the author, how to use. What I like about this deck, it gives you, first of all, a chakra color guide, so you can see um, all the chakras and the crystals that go along with each, which is very helpful. But I'll tell you, I love this deck because here's the backs of the cards, and the cards themselves, it will have the crystal here. It goes into great detail of what the crystal is. And on the bottom, protection, clearing, repair, restoration. So you can learn a lot about the actual crystal itself and then also get a reading. So I really love the cards that I got this morning, which I'll post when I do a close-up review of this deck. But I love that it goes into real detail down here of each uh, crystal. So some crystals, you know, you don't know all crystals, you know what I mean, or their purposes. So I really love the knowledge that this gives right on the cards. It's very easy, it's all in one. There's no guidebook with this. And you can find out all about the crystal and what it means, you know, pamper, luxury. I love that aqua aura, it's beautiful. So just to show you a, cu a couple of the pictures, it will have the crystal here, go into depth about it, lovely, delicate, layers of truth as you gaze blah blah it goes on to the whole crystal and then on the bottom it will say what it's bringing up for you right now and I like just shuffling the cards and seeing what flies out of the deck but what I really appreciate about these cards is it has really interesting crystals um, and I love the readings that I get they're very on target so 
<coughs> Excuse me. Look how gorgeous. I really appreciate this deck for the difference in the crystals, the knowledge, and I get great readings. And it's all in one. There's no guidebook. So it's quick, it's easy, and very knowledgeable. And I love the crystals that are in here because it's not always um, what you usually see crystal-wise. Um, I really love it. And the readings I do with this very on target. Um, again, like I just pulled from this deck this morning and it was so on target. Uh, so I absolutely love it. And I love the knowledge that's right in the cards. So again, this was a lavish earth. This was the backs of the cards. Really pretty. And you can go to our website. You can go to Etsy channel, Amy Whitson. Um, really, really lovely. So that was the first one. Then the next one is the Crystal Oracle from Tony Carmine Salerno. Now, most of you know I did a whole deck collection of just Tony Carmine Salerno because I'm completely addicted to his artwork and everything else. This is a one-off of his crystal decks that I have. Um, but anyway, that deck review of Tony Carmine Salerno, I think I showed 11 decks. I mean, when I say I love him, this one does come with a guidebook. Um, really nice and uh, black and white pictures and I love the I, I just love all his oracle decks so I love the expansive meanings in here you know it will say change creativity and a new phase of your life is just around the corner it will go into great detail so it's a great guidebook I love these cards this was like oh I love if you love crystals look at the backs of the cards they're just gorgeous this clear quartz um, they're decent sized cards they're big oracle cards they're not gilded, but look at how I love a rose quartz. Here, rose quartz. We have it right here with us today, the rose quartz. But I love how you can really feel the crystal, and it will say rose quartz. So you have to go into the guidebook um, for this deck. But I really love the close-ups of the crystals themselves. You're like in the crystal, and that's what really appealed to me with this deck. When you're in the crystal, look at the selenite green. Oh my gosh. I just love being zoned in on the crystal. Look at this fluorite. Here's fluorite joining us today. Um, but I really love just being so up close to the crystals. But you do have to go into the guidebook. You know, you, you don't, there's no um, message here. So it's a close-up of all the crystals, selenite. It's like in the selenite. Here's selenite joining us today. But, um, you know, look how close up. It's just in the crystal. But the guidebook is really amazing. So this is an actual, look at this aquamarine. It's beautiful. Look at that. I'll end with that. Clear quartz. Yes. And again, these are the backs of the cards, but you're going to have to go into the guidebook, and the guidebook is beautiful, but it doesn't, you know, it just has the crystal on the actual card, um, so you have to dive into the guidebook for the actual meaning, but I love this crystal deck, and really gives on point messages, and I love Tony Carmine Salerno, love, 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 so again, in the order that I show it, you'll see the decks below, okay, so then we have oh my gosh this was such an amazing deck the crystal wisdom healing oracle wow when i bought this um i camped out just popped a squat somewhere and just immediately started working with this deck i love this deck from judy hall um so it's also exquisitely the, the it slides out um she's amazing judy hall your crystal keys to healing soul guidance and self-understanding this guidebook is everything um, it goes in, look at this, multi-dimensional variations, earthy, and it will go into such detail. Um, here you have a picture of the card and it will give you, look, black tourmaline, the protection. It goes into such detail and also what I love on the bottom, the healing insight. So there's divination, you know, there's a whole description, self-understanding, divination, healing insight, and then the bottom it will say frequency, earthy, chakra timing the soul path so this is oh, so uncannily on target and i love the in-depth i mean rose quartz oh with the little heart picture um you know i love the bottom you know with the soul path radiating unconditional love the healing insight unconditional love is the greatest gift you can give to yourself or another and you know the divination the message talking about forgiving yourself emotional blockages dissolve etc it's just 
a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous guidebook. I can't even begin to tell you how gorgeous this one is. And I love the power that emanates from this deck. First of all, it's gorgeous because um, it's silver gilding, which I adore. If you can tell from my nail polish, I always wear. Um, silver gilding and the backs of the cards are silver not to take away from the actual crystal and the energy of the crystal is what I think so these are actual pictures of the crystal um, and the back is black so you just have the actual crystal coming through look at this rose quartz what we just got I mean that definitely wanted to be shown today rose quartz and again, it will give the crystal, the rose quartz. You're going to have to go into the guidebook to get the expansive meaning. I do use these cards. Hold on. So um, it's not all in one, you know, right on the on the thing. You have to go into the guidebook. But um, I love it. And the border signifies different um, realms of the crystals or what they affect, uh, which she divvies up in the book. But this is really, the crystals, there's something about, I don't know, if it's really coming through, but it's very, uh, they're almost like standing in all their glory against a black backdrop. And I think that was the intention um, that it's just the crystal and the energy of the crystal to pop out Herkimer di uh, diamond. Just really, really cool. And they have cool, um, very nice crystals. Here's the amethyst. We have amethyst joining us today too here. <laughs> so I really love this deck and this goes deep like in the guidebook is very deep I really love using this deck it's um it takes you look golden healer it takes you deeper um so again I really like this deck this has silver gilding on it and she is just um an amazing crystal very knowledgeable with crystals uh Judy Hall so I love this. It's also packaged real. Again, you're going to want to go in that guidebook using the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle. I mean, cosmic. Yeah, this is the border differential uh, differences. This is cosmic. So all this border is cosmic, multidimensional variations. Um, the other ones are, uh, it's all different. Maybe this is earthy. The borders mean something. You have to go into the guidebook. But the, the meanings for each one, selenite, divine light. I can't say enough about um, down here, soul path, shining divine light on the earth. Um, you know, the, the meanings and what she says in the guidebook really takes you on a journey. is extremely healing and beautiful. It just, whew, you pull a couple of cards from here. It's, it's really fabulous. This was the Crystal Wisdom Oracle Cards from Judy Hall. 50 cards in here for healing, self-understanding, and divination. Love it. One of my more recent ones was the Precious Gems, which I'm including here, Maxine Gad. And I just finished doing a close-up review of this deck where she puts actual faces to the crystals. So um, it comes with this also comes with a guidebook flip open and we'll go into great detail of each card it's a face designed to put a face to every jewel every gemstone and it has an affirmation not just a huge expansive um, meaning and everything it has an explanation of the crystal divination meaning and affirmations which I really enjoy I love those affirmations I really do and I love the faces. So let me show you the cards. Again, any uh, decks that you absolutely love and want to see every card, I have close-up reviews of every single card. Um, just go into close-up reviews and check out the deck that you like and just look at the backs of the cards. I mean, is that exquisite? This feels so decadent. I just love it. I love the little rose quartz hearts, all the jewels and gems. I mean, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it's so interesting the faces and even the borders change to reflect um, the crystal itself and so this is communication this is a more recent deck I got I mean just beautiful transparency and I love how the borders change to reflect the crystal itself as well but really cool I really like this deck and I'm usually not big on faces looking at me in cards but this is so decked out in jewels. I really, really love it. Joyfulness, bloodstone, protection. 
inner child, and very expressive and kind of Art Deco-ish, it kind of reminds me too, clarity, emotional purity, I could go on and on, passion, but these, they're not gilded, they're large cards, and look at the backs of the cards, I mean, is that beautiful? And you go into the guidebook, it's a great guidebook, like I said, um, for more in-depth, and this is Maxine Gad, Precious Gems Oracle, where she puts a face to all the precious gems that you adore. So that was the first pile. So let's move it right on to the next pile. So now, Crystal Angels, I have a funny story. This is Doreen Virtue's Crystal Angels. It was one of her most recent decks that she did. I bought it, then I gave it away, and then I bought it again, and I'll tell you why. First of all, Doreen Virtue stopping making you know, her Oracle decks, the minute they go out of stock, the price is like five, ten times the amount people are gouging. So I was like, it's the only crystal card deck that she did. I might as well just buy it again for $15 and have it because I'm going to kick myself in about a year when it goes out of stock. So I will put an added message in here. If you like any of Doreen Virtue's decks, I'd buy them now before they go out of stock because some of the decks I have, like Angel Answers, um... They'll even, oh my God, the love, the romance angels, all these things, they're going out of stock and then you're getting gouged. So this was the only crystal angel deck she did. Um, and I like this, you know, regardless, I, I gave it away, I guess, cause it didn't feel, the crystal part didn't feel genuine enough to me, but um, I actually still get really good readings from them. It comes with this guidebook. You're not gonna need the guidebook for this one, but um, it does come with a guidebook value your self-worth. It will have a black and white picture. You can go into detail for added meaning or affirmation. You can go in, of course, for the expanded. But like with all of Doreen Virtue's decks, everything is right on the cards to make it easy. I love the backs of the cards. Um, they're big cards. I love the backs. And no, they're not gilded. Ooh, I was about to assume they were because Doreen Virtue is usually gilded. But you'll see what I mean. Like, this is Lapis Lazuli. You don't really get the feel of the crystal for some reason. I love the artwork. Don't get me wrong, Marius, who did the artwork. Marius, um, Michael, George. Um, nothing against the artwork. I like the artwork. But compared to crystal decks, I don't feel literally the Lapis Lazuli in the deck. Um, I just don't feel the crystal because it's not an actual picture of a crystal. But I will say, I love the artwork in here regardless. Um, but the actual readings I get are really on point. And I did a reading for someone else with these cards. Um, we were laughing about how I had to buy it again. And it was really on point. So, you know, say what you want about Doreen Virtue decks. I still get very good readings with all her decks. And um, this was no exception, heightened intuition. It will say right here, moonstone, heightened intuition, be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it's trustworthy. And I have to tell you, it's very on target and I do love the artwork. Spiritual protection, here you have, and it says you're being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, energetically. Very positive messages. Um, but like I said, you don't feel the actual crystal because it's digitalized you know this is um an artist who created this uh, it's not a picture of an actual crystal but i do love that they're all named after crystals and look at this own your divine power the messages are right here and it's beautiful artwork um you know so i'm including this look so you have the crystal here angelite spiritual community joined with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. So I really like this. Look, make time for self-care. I have to tell you, it's very on point and I'm glad that I bought it again because they're probably going to go out of print. Who knows? And then be like hundreds of dollars. So that was the backs of the cards. This was the Crystal Angels Oracle cards from Doreen Virtue. And um, like I said, they're not actual pictures of crystals, but yet you are working with crystals, pictures of angels. You can't go wrong with that mixture. And the messages are on point. I love this deck. I mean, I just recently did a close-up review of this because I didn't even realize I didn't do it yet. This is one of my all-time favorite crystal reading cards, the Healing Oracle from Re Rachel Sharman or Rochelle Sharman. I'm not quite sure. I love the box. It's a big box, that magnetic clothes box, right? Um, love that. The guidebook is really great. Um, here, it's a thick book. 
and you go in and it's, um, oh my gosh, we got this in the last reading, Divine Heart Healing. Um, so funny, I'm switching to that because that's the energy right now. We're really healing our hearts. Um, so it will go into great detail. It goes into actually what the crystal was used for historically for medicine purposes and um, you know what the actual crystal meaning is and then what the message is why you picked that card today and it's very expansive as you can see so you get a really nice extended oracle meaning to the card in the book it's not um, a guidebook to overlook it's uh, I would go in here <coughs> excuse me for the extended meaning to the cards um, Okay, so let me show you the cards. Really pretty. Um, hold on a second. And I, I like the box. I like these magnetic closed box. Um, we'll keep your cards in really good shape. So the backs of the cards are the crystals. And they're not gilded. And they're a little larger than tarot cards, but they're not the massive oracle cards. They're not. But I love this. And so it will have the... Um, brilliant crystal we got this in a reading recently abundance um the crystal name and then the keywords so you can use your intuition with these cards um you know you could really use your intuition uh, but i like going into the guidebook because the meaning she put is really exquisite and you really get a lot more out of it even besides what your intuition is picking up so i like to get use my intuition and then go in the guidebook and get the extended and the affirmation and all that good stuff look at this mother earth and they're brilliant crystals i really love the crystals we got this um the other day in a reading it's like the grandmother of uh rose quartz trust you learn stuff about the crystals too it's an interesting way to learn i've picked up a lot i mean i always i'm surrounded by crystals my house looks like a crystal store but some of the more exotic crystals you know besides the quartz and the selenite and the um fluoride or rose quartz you know it's interesting to look expanded awareness as i'm saying i'm getting expanded knowledge of crystals working with these decks you know there's some crystals you don't even have access to and it's, um, I, I mean, in my crystal shops, I'll never find these crystals there. It's nice to have access to those kind of crystals that you can't ever physically have around you in the cards and tap into that energy. Um, amethyst, yeah. Selenite, one of my favorites, selenite. So I won't go through all of them. Again, if you want to see all the cards, go to the close-up review. But these were the backs up of the cards. Each deck is on my channel, I just want to say. I'm just showing you a sneak peek, but what a fabulous book. I mean, again, it really goes into great detail, and it even gives you the chakra correlation. Um, really, really love this healing oracle, crystal reading cards, healing oracle. Love, love, love. Okay, one of the most recent ones I got, Crystal Connections message cards from Adam Berlay. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. I'm so bad with pronunciation. Again, it has that magnet close that I really like. I love these cards. Um, I did a close-up review recently. This is one of my newest purchases and I lo love the messages. And I was pulled to this deck so much so because it's natural pictures of crystals in their habitat, like in their, so the backs are all different. So we got spirit quartz in one of our readings. It's natural crystals in their natural, in a natural environment. So this really pulled at me. I mean, this is so up my alley. I'm all about natural, um, look, a natural crystal in a natural environment, just pictures. It reminded me of my natural oracle for life, all the pictures I took and made an oracle of. So this was, I mean, when, the minute I saw this and it was natural crystals in their natural. So this would be the back. So it will just have the um, crystal here. And what's great about this is there is no guidebook, but let me show you what happens. You turn it over and here it's right. I love cards like this where everything is right on the card. So it's sort of like, it's gonna say what the key things are and an affirmation on the bottom. I'm in control and my life is in order. Um, I like that, I really like that. So you can pull some cards for yourself and instantly get a crystal reading. And again, there are interesting crystals on here. The pictures are gorgeous. They're natural pictures of crystals in a natural environment. I mean, 
labradorite. I mean, yeah, it will go on about the crystal itself. Events unfold and offer you an alternative path. Don't follow a path simply because everyone else does. Think for yourself. I choose to follow the path that is right for me. So you pull a couple of cards from this deck, and I love connecting. Look, oh, selenite. Can never get enough selenite. Let's see. Connect with your feelings and instincts. Your guides are trying to communicate with you. Purify your thoughts. Make quiet time. You know, give suggestions. I am here to live my life for myself and am guided by my heart and soul. Yes. So I love, I mean, I enjoy the naturalness of it, the natural pictures. I love Rose Quartz is the quartz of the day, I guess. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. So this was Crystal Connection message cards. Really, really lovely crystal deck. I really, really love the natural pictures. I really love that. Um, so like I said, you know, every deck is slightly different. And I think that's why I have so many. Just like every crystal that you have isn't the same, you know. it. So each of these decks I might use for different times, different, um, different reasons. And it fulfills me in a different way. Oh, these are my gems. The last three, they're like a trilogy. So I put them last. They're the angels and gemstone guardians cards, the archangels and gemstone guardian cards, and the masters, mystics, saints, and gemstones guardians cards. They're all from Margaret Ann Lembau. Oh, I have no words for these. I love these. These are so special to me. They're, I call them the gems of my, uh, the gem of my decks, the gem, whatever, a gem of a deck. Anyway, this is the angel one. So let me show you. This is all in one. I mean, I don't know how to even, it's all in one. I like that. I really do. It doesn't come with an extensive guidebook. It's just the cards. So here you have the crystal and it will give a whole description, like say angelite, right? Um, this is the angel and gemstone version one. And it says, look at this beautiful crystal with the little angel up top. Angelite, are you receiving intuitive messages? Do you wish to be more intuitive? It gives you advice, quiet your mind, blah, blah, blah. Accept communication from angels and spirit guides. It gives this whole thing and you turn it over and here is angel of communication, right? And it says, I send and receive messages with ease and grace, confidence and inspiration from my angels and other spirit guides come to me moment by moment. I interpret the messages I receive and apply them to my life with wisdom. I mean, how beautiful. Fluorite, beautiful picture of the crystal. It will say, have you been unable to focus, blah, blah. And then you have the angel of intelligence and the message. So I tend to read this part and then turn it over and get my angel, you know, what that was. I do it that way, but you can do it either way, you know, whatever, you know, do this side first and then this, but I tend to do the crystal first, but look at Jade. I mean, these are beautiful pictures of the crystal pyrite. Are you worried about money? Are you willing to accept prosperity into your life? And we'll go into this whole thing. You can earn unlimited income doing what you love to do. Use your skills, follow your dreams, have confidence, believe in yourself and your ability to be successful. Yes, it's so positive. And then you turn it over and you get angel of entrepreneurship. I am prosperous and abundant in all of my endeavors. I have limitless potential. I fulfill my highest purpose. I naturally attract whatever I need to be joyously successful. I earn unlimited income doing what I love. I mean, who doesn't love that? And I love the picture. So this was the angel one. And look, hematite. I mean, I just love it. I love the selenite again. An angel of divine guidance. Yeah. I'm aligned with the divine. I'm a spiritual being of divine love and light. My sparring bones, tendons, and muscles are healthy, strong, and aligned. I have access to the ancient wisdom stored within me. Yes. So, I love these. These are the angels and gemstone cards. So, I love that you can do a quick reading for yourself. There's no guidebook for it front and back of beautiful crystals. So that's the angels. The guard, this is now the archangels and gemstones in the trilogy. And it's gonna be the same similar um, design. There are different color of cards. And this will have, again, the crystals and the messages. Herkimer diamond, green tourmaline, 
you need to recapture your personal power and then you turn it over and now it's the archangel messages I am a shining star. I focus on all my good attributes and amplify them. I see my path shining brilliantly before me. I have the courage to step forward with joy and enthusiasm. I help others as I radiate my magnificence. So these are all purple of color. Or they're all purplish. And so these would be all your archangel messages. I allow angels to work through me to provide healing for myself, others, and the planet. I am a conduit for the divine. The planetary grids of light are activated with every sacred step I take. Angels light my path. I use this deck often. I use the angels, gemstones, and the other one all in one. So I get messages from my angels. I get messages from my archangels, all using crystals. This is such a gem of a deck. This is such my special Look at this. Are you in touch with your magnificent? This is Peacock Copper. Who is this? Archangel. My life is a dynamic and full of vibrant energy. I'm full of vigor. I'm authentic. Blah, blah, blah. I'm full of life enhancing joy and goodness. I mean, I just love, love, love this deck. I can't say enough of it. So, um, Pink Tourmaline. Do you treat yourself well? You know, all this stuff. It's just beautiful. So these were the Archangel messages. So not to get carried away because I could definitely lose myself in these decks, as you can tell. Um, so this one was the Archangel one. So there was the angels. Now we have Archangels. And now the last one I have are the Masters, Mystics, and Saints in the trilogy. And again, it will be the same setup. There's no guidebook. Um, this is yellow in color, the extra card. And... What's happening here? Oh, because I use them. They're all messed up a little bit. Um, but here, again, the crystals. I always do this side first. Ooh, are you available to receive a download of insight into your life? Wow. And this is the masters, mystics, and saints. I am a conduit for goodness, prosperity, and love. Clarity and focus are mine. I am open to receiving inspiration, wealth, and good health immeasurable power flows through me and benefits the world around me. I am a miracle worker. I mean, who doesn't love these cards? These are yellow. So what I would do, if you can make a choice and pick, you know, arc, the angels and gemstones, the archangels or gemstones, or this one is the masters, mystics, and saints. I got all three and I do a reading. I pull cards for the angels, the archangels, and the masters. And that makes up like a whole crystal reading, but you could just buy one and pull, you know, whichever one pulls at you more. But this one, I mean, I just love, they're all slightly different, you know, and it's working with the angels, archangels, and then the masters. So I love the pictures of the crystals. I love the messages on the front. I love uh, the back messages. I, I just love it. Um, are you connected with the oneness of your heart and mind? So it's a beautiful crystal, and then you turn it over. I am open and receptive. Kuan Yin, I am open and receptive. I take the time to just be. I listen intently with my heart. I have a balanced mental perspective. Mercy and compassion are abundant within me. I am grateful for all the blessings in my life. I mean, you just get, um, it's just amazing. And I love the pictures of the crystal, zebra, jasper. I mean, there are unusual crystals in here too. Amethyst Druzy, they're very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, look, uh, Amatrine, do you want to make changes? But inner voices keep telling you that you can't. Power and strength are mine. It is safe for me to be powerful in loving ways. I transform challenges with ease. I release what is no longer for my highest good. I am confident. I earn unlimited income doing what I love. Yes. And look at how beautiful. Are you in touch with your creative intelligence? Yes, I realize my fullest potential spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. I see the patterns in my life and follow the course toward higher knowledge. I, appreci I approach life creatively by thinking outside the norm. A rainbow of light and positive energy expands my consciousness. Look how pretty that crystal is. So I really enjoy these. I can't say enough about this deck. And I am so glad that I bought all of them. Um, so again, that one was... The Mystics, uh, Masters, Mystics, and Saints, Gemstone, Guardians, Cards, 
from Margaret Ann Lembau. So these last three, you had The Angels and Gemstone Guardians cards by Margaret Ann Lembau. The Archangels and Gemstone Guardian cards, Margaret Ann Lembau. And then the Masters, Mystics, and Saints. Gemstone Guardian cards by Margaret Ann Lembau. So those were my top 10 cards that I absolutely love. <laughs> I mean, I absolutely, I mean, I love, 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 love these decks. And I can honestly say, after working with all of them, I love what they provide for me in the readings, whether I do it for myself or others, they're always so on point. They always tune in almost like a real crystal does. It, you know, I don't know. They're very on point, more on point than you would ever uh, think. They tend to surprise me with how on point they are. It's almost like you forget how deep they can be. Um, and so I'm always freshly and newly surprised when I feel guided to use one of these decks and I'm blown away by the reading. I'm like, oh my God, I forgot how on point they can be. And each one is slightly different depending on your mood or what kind of messages, what, what kind of reading you're doing or what kind of support you need right now or what kind of guidance you need right now. And as you saw, some of them have guidebooks, some of them don't, some of the information's all on the card, some of them is more intuitive. Um, so it really depends on what you're in the mood for, but these were definitely my top 10 crystal oracle decks that I definitely use consistently. I love them, I treasure them, I wouldn't get rid of any of them. Um, yeah, uh, these would never be leaving my, con uh, my collection. You know how some decks you have, you work for a while, and then you say, oh, I can get rid of it and make room for, just make more room, you know, or circulate your decks. These, I would never, I would never part with these. These would never leave me. So, I wanted to share them, and this has been my top 10 Oracle decks. And again, in the description box below, I have all the names and the authors of these decks, the artists of the decks, down in the description description box. If you wanted to see each and every card of a deck, definitely go to my close-up reviews. I have a playlist that says close-up reviews. Every single deck I've ever used or ever used on this channel is there showing every card in the deck and also a bonus reading at the end so you can see what it's like to actually use the cards. And I do that so you know um, whatever I use on my channel, I've already done a close-up review of so you can get the deck yourself. Okay? All right, thanks for joining me, and take care, enjoy your crystals, and enjoy your crystal oracle cards. Bye-bye.